Hi, we're back at Vibrant Library today. This is Betty, a librarian, and we're going to be doing some outside planting in the snow. Isn't that different? What I've done here is I've put some professional potting soil in this one container here, and I put seeds, um, lettuce seeds, a sprinkler all on top, and then put a little bit of perlite on top, and a little bit more ground, and I'm going to put them out in the snow. And what I'm hoping is, when the weather gets nice and warm and they're ready to grow, these seeds will sprout and I will have early lettuce. And I'm also going to do that with, in here, I'm going to do some radishes and I've got two other containers. I'm going to do some onions and some spinach. I'm going to put them all out here. Today is what, March the 9th, 10th, something like that. And uh, so this is what I'm going to do. On the, on the side, I'm going to do it on the sunny side. Right there on the snow where the sun can shine in. When the snow melts and it starts warming up, I'm hoping these seeds will germinate. I got this idea off the internet and they say it really works. The seeds won't, will lay there dormant, freezing doesn't hurt them. They'll lay there dormant until um, it's warm enough for them to sprout. So I've also got the soil, I made it nice and wet. I've got holes in the lid and holes in the bottom. So that if it rains or whatever snows, it can go in there and get wet and it can also drain out the bottom. So this is an experiment, we'll see if it's gonna work. Okay, today is April 11th, and I'm out here in the cold where it's snowing and freezing. It was so nice the last winter, so I decided to check on my plants out here. My uh, plants, that my seedlings, I, my seeds, I started, uh, oh, probably over a month ago out here. And I set them in the snow when the snow was still here. So if I open the lid up here, you can see my radishes have started. Not many, but some have started. So because it's supposed to be really cold tonight and freezing for the next week, I'm going to move these into my little flower shop. This one, and then I'll show you this one. I'm not sure if this one started yet or not. Yes, they have two. These are my onions. They have started. Or that's spinach, I should say. This is spinach, not onions. I'm forgetting what I planted in these. And then and this one here is my lettuce down there at the bottom little lettuce starting right there and there so I guess it does work the only thing that you have to be aware of is that when if they do start because the weather's nice and warm and then it gets really cold you need to put them somewhere where they're not gonna totally freeze so I'm gonna put them all your trees in my flower shed today for the next week so until it gets warm out and I'll maybe set them out again okay can you see the bugs can you see the bugs? They just plastered on my radishes. In my, this is the pail that I planted in the snow. And my radishes are just about ready. They're getting there. See my little radish there? See my little radish there? But the leaves are covered. Leaves are covered with bugs. See that? Covered with bugs. They're even gone away now because I kind of scared them. But this pail inside was covered with bugs. And I had the spinach pail beside it. And they were on the outside of the pail, but they weren't on the spinach itself. They're just sucking the leaves dry. Unreal. Here's the radish, the first radish. It's not quite big enough yet, but I just pulled it out to show you what they're doing. They're eating it alive. And all the radishes I had in my garden that came up, they're gone. They just wiped them out in a day. Well, here is my spinach. They haven't really attacked it yet, but they were all on the outside of the pail, and I moved the pail away. Here they are in full, full blast this morning, the next morning. Just crazy. This is my spinach that I put it out in the snow, the seeds, in March. I'm eating some today. Today is May the 19th. Thank you.